Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, I'd like to talk today about something that I'm really seeing a lot of Sergeites doing a lot better at, and, it, and it's, it's about what we guess we could call some of your equipment. And specifically, the equipment is your golf playing glasses. Okay, I'd like to talk about something that you've heard me talk forever about. You can't play with bifocals and trifocals. And I'm really, I'm really feeling great about how many golfers are coming and telling me and showing me their glasses and saying, hey, Serge, I, you were right, man. I, you, you can't play with bifocals and trifocals. But I want to talk about another aspect of your glasses that I don't believe I've ever spoken about before, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing an issue, and, and I want to bring it up. So I'm talking about the glasses you play golf in, your golf playing glasses. Now, I wear sunglasses all the time. I'm extremely sun sensitive, but I, when I play golf, I don't play with my normal sunglasses. I play with my playing glasses, which are transitions, I guess they call them. They, they, they fade in and out. They get darker as I put them on. These glasses never leave my bag. They're in a, they're in a crush proof case, and they're my playing glasses. Right now we're in the shade over here, so they're probably not going to get too tight. But what I want to talk to you about them is they're, they're, they fit my face. And what I mean by this is the problem I'm seeing lately is the new style, the new age style or whatever for glasses that he's long. I, 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 I like these thin glasses about this big, slim line or whatever you want to call them, trim line. And, and so they don't ever come down anywhere deep enough. And, 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 and when you're wearing those directly on your face, the problem I'm seeing with, with students is, is that they're, they might as, it, it, it causes them to almost have to put their head in the same position they would if they were wearing bifocals or trifocals. Because the bottom of the lens is so small, they have to bend their head down too much to see the, to see the ball in the, in, the, in, their gla in the middle of their glasses. Or even at the bottom, they still, if they're looking at the bottom, these glasses are too thin. Basically, a good pair of playing glasses should, 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 should be deep enough that they come down and rest just about on your on your cheeks all right so that you can just stand here and 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 when you bend over and keep your head in line with keep your head through you uh, by your neck in line with your spine not getting the heavy bowling ball head coming down and, and putting your chin on your chest you got to keep your head up your we the eyes go downward in the ball and socket joint right they're connected in the socket most golfers just hold the eyes dead straight and they bend over till the eyes is are looking straight out here, it's straight down there to get in the middle. And especially you have to do that if they're wearing bifocals. And now if they're wearing these little skinny winnie glasses, you need to have playing glasses that are deep. Just go back and look at, look at the old players years and years ago. Tom Kite wore these big, huge glasses, and most of the guys did back then. And, and if you look at the guys on tour that are wearing the wraparound glasses and everything else, you notice they all come down to the chin. To, to, to your cheeks, excuse me, to your cheeks. It had to be pretty tough to have glasses to your chin. They come down to the cheeks so that they can, the eyes can go down and they can still see out, see, you know, see out the, the bottom here, okay? So I think that, that thank you so much for all of you that are, that, are, that are listening and getting playing glasses, but you can't play, I'm convinced, because it's the same as wearing bifocals and trifocals if you're playing with these little skinny mini glasses, all right? You need a glass that's got the size of a glass from top to bottom that's going to come down and basically just about touch or rest on, on, on your cheeks. You need that big so you, when you bend over and keep your, your head in line, your eyes can go down and you can still see out the bottom and see the ball unobstructed by the rims of your glasses. And if you don't have rims at the bottom, at least you don't want, you don't want half the glass on it and half the glass off of it. You want, you want to just have that good natural position. So you need to add to the formula no bifocals, no bifocals or trifocals, but glasses that are down to your and touching your cheeks that are big enough that you can bend over and still be looking out the bottom of them with your head in line with your spine by your neck so your eyes have to look downward, okay? That's another thing you got to do if you want to play better golf, all right? So that's it for the search for today with another topic or another way to look at what are the best glasses to have if you have to play golf with glasses and and it's always need to be more than anything your distance to play here because and have enough glass so you can keep your head in the proper position to keep your muscles properly engaged to lift your arms 
to make a good peak performance vertical golf swing and hit those good solid shots. That's it for the search for today and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.